Hey, Tammy. Hello. So what kind of dudes are you attracted to? Me? Um, I would say dominant alpha males. Um, that's not usually what's attracted to me, but um, that is typically what I am attracted to and would like to date or go out with and find. Um, I'm not on social media, but I have tried online dating and that's been not successful. <laughs> what happens when you use online dating? I mean, like, are you able to match with the guys that you're attracted to? Uh, some, sometimes, but not often. There's been a couple times where a lot of times they will seem a certain way until you actually get out in public with them or get to know them a little bit more. Mm. Um, and I think also a, a large problem is a lot of men might think that they're dominant or alpha and they're not, or they might present themselves that way, but they're still living with their mom at 43. Um, another one that I dated had lived in a uh, sober house living, which I think is awesome for him, but he's obviously not ready to date, mm. but he didn't tell me that until date five. <laughs> so what is, what is silver house living? I don't know what that like is. Like a sober home living. So oh, sober home. Okay. So, yeah, he's, so, so he's an alcoholic. Like Got it. Alcoholic or addict, which okay. like, that's great. I'm proud of him. However, I don't want to date him. Um, okay. so do you have any kids? You ever been married? Um, I have never been married. I do have two children from when I was young. They are 19 and 23. They are in, live in the city on their own in college, one for nursing, run one undergraduate for psychology. So they are super smart, but very independent and, um, you know, not home and in my life all the time, but we're still very close. Okay. So what's the ask here? I mean, you're just looking for clarity on why? I mean, you're looking for some, some help, some advice? Probably a little all of the above. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I've taken myself off of online dating. I did it for about a year and a half. I'm thinking about jumping back into it, but I'm not sure if maybe I'm using wording wrong or presenting myself wrong. And I've really tried, like I go to the gym and I smile and I'm nice and I get comments from people. Men that I'm attracted to tend to treat me like their little sister. Um, the last person I dated called me accommodating. I don't know if that is a good thing. Um, you know, that I'm, I'm helpful or nice or everybody goes, oh, Tammy's so sweet. But Sounds they like a friend like, zone sort of wow. thing that women do to yeah. guys. Yeah, but they do. <laughs> That's what I end up in. So, so yeah, good. me is like the sweet, sweet little Tammy. So um, are they overtly stating it's because of the tattoos? No, um, and I wasn't. And I mean, sure. like when you say tattoos all over your body, like you attach some pictures. I'm not going to show them on a the screen, but it looks like it's from like neck pretty much all the way down, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Not everything is tattooed, but I have a lot done. Okay. Yeah. And it's like front and back, everything, right? Yes. Okay. Um, like, have you looked into trying to get them removed, or is that like utterly pointless? That would, so much work. Um, I did remove. I had some tattoo work on my face, like on the top of my forehead um, area. I did get that removed. It took two years and over two thousand dollars, and it's still not complete. It's still blotchy. How much did um, you pay for all the tattoos over the time you had your body inked? I don't really know. And it was a long time ago and in my early 20s, probably too much. Um, a lot of it we would do with like trade. Um, I had a friend that. I used to own a hair salon a long time ago. And so mm. we would trade between that. Um, and they were the tattoos in that time. I got a lot of attention for, but because I wasn't raised very properly, I didn't understand the difference between good attention and bad attention. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and I was just very young and made poor choices. But um, once I started listening to your podcast and several others, I kind of realized that that was my, I think that was something that was kind of holding me back a lot from being able to date is because, you know, people just, a lot of men just don't want to date somebody that's so heavily tattooed and it'd be impossible. And they've, and they've overtly stated that, like they just said that I'm not into tattoos. Um, no, I, I mean, a couple of them have, but I'm just kind of, I'm kind of guessing that, um, and it's kind of out of actions. Like I wouldn't have a problem necessarily finding somebody to take me out and want to be with me like intimately. I don't think that is what I would have a problem with, but nobody wants to like take me to parties or take me to a charity event or take me home to meet their mom or, and I just think after listening to a lot of people and kind of trying to figure out what men are looking for and want and what they desire in a woman, um, I'm, kind of making the assumption that that's a big thing that's holding me back. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, short of getting them all removed, you're kind of in a tough spot. I mean, I mean, like the thing that see the problem a lot of women face is they'll get to your age and they'll say, okay, you know, I just want a nice guy. I just want to, I mean, like, what did you define it as, uh, the guys that you're attracted to? Because the way I'm not attracting the type of men that I'm attracted to. And you're defining the guys that you're attracted to as like the high value alpha guys. Like what's a high value alpha guy in your view? Like, could you I kind mean, of paint a picture? Yeah. And I'm, I'm very realistic. So, you know, I, I know, you know, it's not, I'm not going to be pulling somebody that's, you know, a millionaire. I understand that. Uh, but somebody that just has a steady job, somebody that has a decent steady life. job making how much money roughly? Um, I mean, I would really prefer over 60 a year. Um, oh, I would like to not a very that, high bar, though. I, I mean, know, a lot of women nowadays are like, oh, he's got to have, you know, six figure income. Yeah, I just I don't think I could be with somebody that makes less than me. Um, I think that would be a problem. Um, Pergamy 101. It's just I I worked I work really hard. And mm -hmm. so I just want somebody else that also works really hard at whatever it is that they're doing or, um, and whether, and just in life in general, you know, and you, it's hard to find somebody that's like that, that's willing to just put in work, whether it's go to the gym or explore a hobby, or if there's something they're interested in, not just talking about it, but actually going and doing it. Um, and, and it's hard because I have, I've worked so hard, even though I, I wouldn't call myself like the high value woman, I guess, but I've worked so hard to get where I am at that I would really like to be with somebody that could at least equal that, if not better. it. Um, yeah. Women don't want to go across and down. They want to go across and up, generally speaking. So, I mean, what you're running into, and I'm assuming you're dating, you're dating guys your age or older. Um, yes, I, I have dated a 33 year old and that was actually oddly probably the better one. Um, really great guy, owns his own home, motorcycle, boat, truck, it, 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 in the petroleum business. And we actually really enjoy one another's company. And I think he likes me and I like him. However, he's been very respectfully honest with me that he wants to get married and have kids, um, mm -hmm. several kids. And so he would ideally really prefer a younger woman. So in that case, it wasn't the tattoos that were holding me back. It was the fact that I was 40 and he doesn't want to date a barren 40 year old. Um, and so, and he could absolutely have a 25 year old girl. So, but are you finding like, that with the guys your age too, that are in their forties, like they're looking for younger women? Um, it depends. It depends, um, who they are. So I have found that a little bit in men. Um, usually I guess what you would classify as your more high value man, they'll date me. They don't really want to long-term date me. They do mm -hmm. want, you know, younger women. Um, I kind of have a hard time just finding people to even just date so well I mean, like once you start going through the dating pool and you realize about half of it or more is going to lean in a direction that you're not attracted to the guys that you defined as carrying crystals in their pockets with loads of debt with an art history degree so you cut those guys out of the equation then you take the guys out of the equation that have you know they're the they're in the sober homes the alcoholics anonymous they're living with their moms they don't make more more money than you they still live with their ex-wives trying to sort through the divorce. They've got four small children and you don't want to deal with that. Like you're, you're dealing with a very, 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 very narrow dating pool, right? So yeah. for you to kind of like find something that's going to tick off some boxes, you're going to have to cast a wider net and start to make some concessions in areas that you've been unwilling to in the past, perhaps, if you know what I'm saying, right? Because yeah. I mean, like most guys that, I deal with in the high net worth category, like the guys that are the entrepreneurs, the professionals, the doctors, the lawyers that are making like quarter million plus. For the most part, they're not looking for women in their 40s, let alone a woman in their 40s that's a single mom with a couple. I mean, your kids are almost adults now, but you're still a single mom, basically, um, you know, covered in head to toe with tattoos. And one of the things that you've experienced, I mean, if you have to go to an event and you're, there's an evening dress, it's like, OK, do I want to bring you know, plate one or plate two, plate two's yeah. got tats all over her and plate one doesn't, you know, sort of thing. So, I mean, there's certain things that you can do. And, you know, I always tell guys, you know, like try to try to max out your looks where you can, like if you're fat, lose the weight, you know, if you've got, you know, uh, social calibration or issues, work on that. You don't seem to have that issue. You're well-written. You seem to speak quite well. It sounds like you don't have, you know, um, much going on that's problematic as far as red flags except for the whole tattoo thing which is going to you know send a lot of guys off i don't know i mean 
cast a wider net would be my biggest you know piece of advice and if you have the time and money you know maybe maybe work towards getting getting r- rid of or minimizing a lot of the exposed stuff mm-hmm. i'm like for me personally you're going to get a skewed opinion because i'm not a big fan of tattoos right yes. never have been never never will be you know the way that i've always framed it and i think i mentioned it in my book i don't know if you read it but it's like putting bumper stickers all over a Lamborghini. Lamborghini is a beautiful thing. I think a woman's a beautiful thing. And then when you put them all over the place and I've got cousins that have tats, you know, down their arms and sort of stuff and they fade after 20 years and they just don't look good. Right. So I've never been a big fan from that perspective. And I think a, there's a good chunk of the guys that share that same and echo that same sentiment, but there's also guys that love tats. Like I've seen guys covered in tats as well. And I'm sure there's got to be some of them out there that aren't drowning in debt with crystals in their pockets that probably have some money and a motorcycle and a boat as well too, right? Uh, I would hope so. Uh, it just seems like that's kind of, it, it, that does seem to be kind of, I would say, musicians, people that do a lot of drugs and alcohol. Um, Maybe artists. try to find those reformed guys those, that aren't. Those are the people that tend to, when I'm on dating apps, that will reach out to me. Um and want to talk to me and that's fine. They could live their life the way they'd like, but um, it's just not somebody I'd put time and energy into. Cast a little bit of a broader net and, you know, give, give a few of these guys at least a sniff test and a a coffee date or a drink and see how it goes and see if there's anything that sparks out of that. But I mean, if you're going to limit it very tight, one of the things you said early on too, is you're not really dating that much. I mean, if you want to score goals, you got to get on the ice, right? Put on the equipment, put on the gear, you know, I did join, like, that's why I joined the gym six months ago. So I joined the gym six months ago. I've been trying to volunteer outside of my regular job. So my, re- my regular job is just all women. It's almost mm-hmm. all women that work there. Um, so if we have men, they're married. Um, so I tried to start doing other volunteer things and go on like little like 5k runs and stuff with other people and try to be more active. And so I'll find things purposely to try and go do that men will be at. Um, yeah. I've tried that as well. Go and go and fish where the fish are. <laughs> they may not be, you know, they may not have the right bait on the hook for you though, right? That's why I said cast a wider net and get out there a little bit more. Hey, listen, I appreciate you, you know, sharing Thank this experience. You. And if anything, you know, I've, I've worn for a long time, you know, to younger women, not to, not to tap themselves up too crazily. And, you know, here we are today, you know, you're, you're 20 years down the road and you're like, you know, saying to yourself, like, where do I find guys that I want to be with? Cause I'm stuck with guys that I'm generally not attracted to. So, you and know, it, not one part of this men. is there's a lesson here. Yeah. Not just with men, with career opportunities, with, it's a huge regret. And if I had a magic wand and could just take it all off and have my freckly redhead skin back, I would. So, um, yeah, I would definitely, if you're a younger woman watching this, not get tattooed. All right. Good luck, Tammy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. See you. Ciao.